Hello, this is Nancy Jutton, and today is September 7th. It's a very special day. I have a very big celebration that I want you to be a part of. This is Nancy Jutton, and today is, and I'm just making sure the sound is working because we're going to start in two minutes. And if you are with me now, go ahead and say hello. I'm live. I'm here with you to hear the the announcements. I'm here to hear the wonderful story that you're about to tell. Tell me you're excited. I see somebody's here live. I don't know who it is, but we are. It is 12:58, and it looks like I'm live. So there you go. If you can hear me, go ahead and post a yes. I can hear you in the chat, and I'm just going to get started. It's 12:59, and I guess I'm so excited. I'm going to start right now. My name is Nancy Jutton. I am the leader of the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group. And I have something very exciting to talk to you about today that's a little bit more personal than the typical shows that I do. And so I just want to make sure that the sound is working. And it is working. So here's the story. There are some dates on the calendar that I just mark with a celebration. Maybe you have dates on the calendar like that too. Your birthday, your anniversary, Mother's Day, Father's Day, the birthdays of your children, Christmas, New Year's, Rosh Hashanah. We all have dates on the calendar that we turn to when we say that was a changing day in my life, or that was a celebration that made a big difference for me, or that was a moment in time that made a huge difference in what I did with my professional life. Well, you know what? September 8th, is that day for me. That day actually is happening tomorrow. If you're joining me live and if you're joining by by replay tomorrow, well, today you get the picture. So why does September 8th matter to me? Well, I was a child of the 70s and I grew up in a very traditional household where my dad quote unquote, went to work and my mom stayed home. But the trouble is that my dad was an actor in Hollywood and he would not get he would not be working a whole lot of the time. We were mostly surviving on unemployment checks and coupon clipping because his reliability getting hired was a little bit spotty and we suffered the consequence. And as a kid growing up in that household, I felt very disempowered because I was very young and I wasn't old enough to make my own money. And I just had to surrender to whatever the situation was. And I thought, gosh, there's got to be a better way in all kinds of ways. And so when September 8th rolled around, the Mary Tyler Moore show debuted on national television. And it showed me as a young girl growing up that there was another way to live your life without being quote unquote, a desperate housewife. Here this adorable, likable, kind, talented woman in her thirties, unmarried, was a producer for a major news show and she was like a me, she was just such a darling. And I thought there's an example of a, a, a young woman professional making it on her own. And I thought to myself, I can have that too. I don't have to surrender to the fate that I've been born into. I can change my own fate for the better and I can take 100% responsibility for my life. And so every night that I got to watch the Mary Tyler Moore show was just a a window into what my life was going to be like someday. And is it any surprise that I ended up editing the high school newspaper and being the editor in chief of the high school newspaper and going on to start my own public relations agency and go on to accomplish all kinds of things in my life and my business, because I wasn't going to be beholden to someone else to make my dreams come true. So you can get the picture that I just love Mary Tyler Moore. Number two, another huge person in my life that has been a huge influence on me is Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey's show went national on September 8th, same day that the Mary Tyler Moore show went live. And she chose that date deliberately because she had the same feelings about Mary Tyler Moore as I did. And when she revealed that on one of her shows, I remember thinking, wow, that's so cool. So I love Mary Tyler Moore. I love Oprah. And why do I love Oprah? I could probably write a book about why I love Oprah. But I can tell you that I learned more about being a kind and generous and complete human being by watching her show and reading every one of her books 
and benefiting from every guest she brought onto her show and watching her interview people masterfully and everything that she's ever touched has really made a huge impact on the way I've chosen to live my life. I remember getting to see her at the Live Your Best Life event in Oprah in, in New York City a number of years ago. And I wore the color purple because I just knew that she would see me, but I didn't even care if she saw me. I was just so glad to be in the space where there were thousands of women who felt the same way about Oprah as I did. I think one of the most powerful lessons that touched me so personally about Oprah was something, I think the conversation she was having was with Maya Angelou, but was something about um, how to show your kids how much you love them. And the example that she was sharing was one in which, you know, the kid comes home from school with their best clothes um, ripped and dirty. And some moms would notice, well, you ruined your good clothes and take those off and let's do the laundry. But the guest was saying, light up when you see your kid show up in the room. Let your kid know that you're excited to see, hear, and celebrate that kid. And I remember thinking that that was like a seminal moment in my role as a parent, because when I was a kid growing up, I guess I didn't feel seen, heard, and celebrated by my parents. I felt a little bit like an inconvenience. And so when I became a parent almost 25 years ago, it was like, how am I going to do this right? How am I going to be a good parent? And when she said, let your kids see your light, the light in your eyes every time he enters the room, that was just such powerful parenting advice for me that really did set the tone for how it is that my husband and I celebrated my son's life and how we guided him to become a decent human being. And now he's off studying for his PhD in analytical chemistry at the University of Texas at Austin. And oh, by the way, he earned a hundred percent scholarship. So we couldn't be more proud of him. So I realize that I'm rambling on and on about myself personally, but don't you want to know the person who's leading the group? Don't you want to know the person who is guiding you to accomplish magnificent things? Don't you want to know that there's more to me than just what I do for a living? I've been influenced dramatically by these two amazing women, whether they're fictional or real life. And so why does that matter to me today? Why does this matter to you today? And what's the win in it for you? Well, you probably know that I started a public relations agency a number of years ago and became reasonably successful at it. And I got the opportunity to work with Franz Chocolates, Seattle Chocolate Company, Roger Staubach, the football great, Vern Yip and David Bromstad in the Seattle Design Center, the Olympic Hot Tub Company, and four community banks that occupied four different corners in the same city in Bellevue, Washington. I had such a roster of clients. I was very successful with original ideas pitched on behalf of my clients that would help them get seen, heard, celebrated, and ultimately compensated for their winning ways. I was like the Wizard of Oz standing behind all these powerful people trying to make them look big in the media and look big in the media they did. That was because I had original ideas, the ability to create relationships with reporters and producers and broadcast decision makers and people of influence. And all this wonderful stuff was happening for my clients. But here was the rub. I started having publicity envy for all of their notoriety because at the time, if you were to Google my name, the only thing you would find is that I ran 10K races really slowly. My media visibility was a big zero back, back then. And that was a pretty humbling thing to notice. But here was the other thing that was cool about it. I actually had the skills to turn that around. And I actually needed to deploy them when the Great Recession happened because unfortunately, when the Great Recession of 2008 happened, my public relations agency fell on very, very hard times and I needed to find a way to make money and fry it up in a pan so that we wouldn't have to clip coupons and deal with the uncertainty of not knowing where our next meal was gonna come from. So on a dare from a friend, I wrote a book called the Bye Bye Boring Bio Workbook. And it was, this, this is very humble, I'm gonna show it to you. This was the very first version. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm showing it to the camera. And it was just a simple little book that I created at the local Kinko's or the UPS store where 
It was the essential guide for sharing your story in a fun, memorable, and magnetic way with ease, speed, and impact. Well, what do you know? I presented it at a publicity event I was hosting, and it turned out to be the most popular part of the event. So I decided to bring it to market with a prettier cover. And then I decided to do a second edition and I made it even prettier. Guess what day I chose to release this book? Each of these times, September 8th, because I was honoring Mary Tyler Moore and Oprah Winfrey because their influence made such a big difference in my life. So what happens for me? If you Google Bye Bye Boring Bio, or you Google my name, you will find me straight away. There are tens of thousands of references to me as the business bio expert, the bio queen, any variation of those kinds of terms. I am no longer invisible. I'm very visible. People around the world and in countries that I've never seen or visited myself have purchased my book at, in the thousands. And I know I've solved an important problem for people, which is, my bio is boring, and as a result, nobody's doing business with me, and I can't get to ground, you know, get, get to base one with anybody because I can't describe who I am and what I do and who I do it for and why it matters to save my life. Well, without boring you with all the necessary drama and details, um, after the second edition debuted, I wrote that second edition for as long as I could, and some variations happened in my life that we don't need to get into right now. But when, the, when COVID-19 happened, which was for most of us March of 2020, it seemed like the whole world kind of stopped and gave us all reason to revisit. What are we here to do? Who are we here to do it for? Is the work we're doing the best that it can be? And you know what? I took the opportunity to revisit the Bye Bye Boring Bio workbook for the second edition. And I asked myself, is this the best I can do? Is this the most relevant and of service way for me to be of contribution to the marketplace and also be a vehicle for me to be able to earn money in this new environment that is incredibly difficult, incredibly challenging, and one that we all need to learn how to navigate very quickly. So what did I do? I decided that I would rewrite the Bye Bye Boring Bio workbook and make it relevant for virtual speaking and podcast guesting. And I spent all of you know, between March and June of last year completely revising this workbook. And guess what? On September 8th, 2020, the 2020 version of Bye Bye Boring Bio debuted to the world. I chose that date very deliberately because I wanted to celebrate those two amazing women who came before and also honor all the good things that have happened in my life as a result of having taken the dare to write the book in the first place. Well, what, what is different about this book and what's amazing about this book and why do you care? If you are a speaker who got benched by the pandemic, chances are you've been scrambling to find other ways to raise your voice and make your impact. Podcast guesting is a powerful way for you to do that without leaving your house. This version of the Bye Bye Boring Bio workbook goes into detail about how to create a media one sheet. It gives you multiple examples from movers and shakers in the industry who have examples that you can model and emulate to create something distinctly your own that can open doors for you with the many, many, many people out there who are looking for guests just like you. If you go to listen notes, you'll probably find that there are 2.4 million podcasts on the air according to listen notes, and more are starting every day. Chances are you're starting a podcast soon. Isn't everyone? My belief is that you can narrow that list of 2.4 to your list of really great eight, and you can find eight amazing shows that are already established, that have audiences already built in, so that you can make a pitch the host can't resist and be the one that gets chosen to share your story, your perspective, your journey as an entrepreneur, uh, 
whatever it is that you want to share that will make the biggest difference to advance your mission, there are people out there waiting to hear from you if you only knew how to make an approach. So the beautiful thing about the Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 workbook is that it teaches you how to be media ready, media savvy, and on message so that you can win as a podcast guest so that all of your social media profiles and everywhere you show up can demonstrate what's special and different about you and invite more of the right people to do business with you. So I'm not actually even selling the book. Is that a big surprise? Here's the thing. Tomorrow, September 8th, represents my anniversary of being the Bye Bye Boring Bio Queen since 2009 taking you through all the different versions that I've shown you. This one is clearly the best. It is the best. It is current. It is relevant. It will serve you in every good possible way. And here's the cool thing. You will get to receive the digital version of the Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 workbook as my gift to you with two conditions. Number one, I want you to register tomorrow, September 8th, with a very special September 8th registration page. I'm going to drop tomorrow so that you can register to attend the Podcast Visibility Live Lab that is starting on September 13th, Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific. That's number one. And number two, you will show up live for the Podcast Visibility Live Lab that starts at 11 o'clock on September 13th at 11 a.m. Pacific, you will show up live. And when you do, my Facebook group concierge, Hallie, will find you and deliver your digital version of the Bye Bye Boring Bio Workbook 2020 to your inbox so that you can see what all the fuss is about. This is a $97 value. You can go to my website and see that I sell it for $97. I have never, ever, ever given it away for free. But on this one day only, September 8th, 2021, it is my gift to you when you make the wise decision to join me for the Podcast Visibility Live Lab that starts on the 13th and you show up live to take the medicine. Because what am I going to do on that day? I'm going to kick off a series of days where I'm going to take you through my 6P system to prepare yourself to be the brilliant podcast guest, to position yourself as someone that a top host can't wait to talk to and is interested in, in having a conversation with. I'm going to show you how to prioritize the right shows that would be right for your message. I'm going to teach you how to pitch and build relationships with hosts that are going to run and not walk to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you about how to ping pong those people back into your world so that they want to do business with you, ultimately so you can profit. And I'm also going to talk about presence and practice and a whole lot of bonus P's that you might not be expecting that will be equally and awesome and relevant. But I want you to benefit from this multiple day training that's going to happen every day starting on Monday at 11 o'clock each day will build on the day before and when you are complete you will be media ready you will be media savvy you will be on message you will have this amazing resource to guide you not just today but every day for the rest of your virtual speaking career and if you are so inspired to journey forth and become a client of mine and step behind the velvet rope to see what other generosity waits for you as a invested client, well, that's something you can consider as well. I want to say that of all the ups and downs that I've experienced personally and in my business, I have never been more on purpose. I have never had more joy around my business and what it is that I do and how it is that I do it. And I want as many people as possible to join me for the Podcast Visibility Live Lab so they can experience the wow that I bring. So if you are excited about all that, you get to play with me. So what I want you to do is I want you to watch this space here in the Facebook group tomorrow, first thing in the morning, for your very special September 8th registration page. And I want you to go there and I want you to register. And remember, you only get the book, this high value, amazing book, 
when you show up live for the first day of the training. And I have a feeling that if you're there for the first day of the training, you're going to stay for all of it. And that's really what I'm hoping for, because this is my finest hour. It can be your finest hour too. If you're just present enough to the opportunity that's right in front of you to learn from someone who came out of the womb with a pen in one hand and a megaphone in the other, who knows how to create relationships with people of influence, who wants to teach you how you can do it too. I want to give you reason, just like Mary Tyler Moore, to throw your hat in the air and celebrate and to live your best life and to communicate your amazing stories, just as Oprah has for all of these many years. I am excited. I hope you are excited. I see Diana Needham is here. She says, such an amazing resource for all of us. And oh, Rebecca, thank you for saying that, Nancy. She certainly is. I love what I do. I'm so proud of this book. And one of the other things that I have to say, you know, you never know what, what wonderful things people are going to do. But there's a gentleman named Christopher Flett, and he is the CEO of Ghost CEO. And he has 500 business coaches across the nation and maybe the world who work for him. And when the book was done, I actually shipped it to his doorstep because he's a colleague and a champion and an advocate and someone who I have a relationship with. And I said, what do you think of this? I'd be curious to know what you think. And he and my husband work together. So he reaches out to my husband and says, your wife sent me this book. Is it any good? And my husband says, I have to tell you, it's really good. And it's not just because she's my wife. I think she did a really good job. And oh, by the way, my husband has a master's degree in English and we've been married for almost 34 years. But I don't think, you know, after you've been married for someone for a really long time, they tell you the truth. And he said, you know, Nancy, she wrote a pretty good book. Well, that was that. You could have knocked me over with a feather when a, not long after Christopher Flett, who has his own YouTube channel, created a video and it basically said, your bio sucks and here's what to do about it. And he endorsed this workbook in such a powerful way. And this was not a joint venture partnership. It was not an affiliate arrangement. There's no revenue share. He read the thing from cover to cover as a CEO of a leading organization that touches and transforms the lives of business people around the world and said it was his favorite tool of 2020. That's really high praise. And I gotta tell you, I actually cried when I watched the video because he did it as a gift to me. It was a gift to me to demonstrate that he really was a champion of this good work after all, and that he was going to recommend it to all of his coaches that touch and transform the lives of clients around the country. This is good stuff. I want you to have it as my gift tomorrow, September 8th, 2021. It's my anniversary of all the different versions of the book that I've written and painstakingly edited through the years. And it's the best one ever for what it is that we're dealing with right now, because here's one final thing I want to say. Visibility is not an option. Visibility is an imperative. If this Delta variant is going to continue to play havoc in our lives, wherever we are in the world, if live events don't come back with the same uh, impact as we've experienced in the past. What can we do to beat the drum and say who we are, how we help, what we're here to do, the mission we're fighting for? Each and every one of us can step up to the microphone, have a conversation with an influential host, deliver a message that the audience will be excited to learn about, and the host is going to say, tell me, where can our listeners go to take a closer step in your direction? And you're going to have your call to action ready to roll. And you're going to be able to share it. And you're going to bring in inbound client inquiries, leads, conversations, cash, collaborations, other kinds of opportunities without even leaving your house. I can't think of anything more relevant and more empowering in this time of life that we find ourselves in September 2021. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's trip down memory lane. I hope you're excited to use the special registration link that's going to be valid tomorrow only for the podcast Visibility Live Lab and to join me on the first day so you will get your digital copy of this powerful resource 
that can be a game changer and make it faster and easier and more fun for you to describe yourself and everything you do so the right people will want to toss their hats in the, in the air and celebrate, and you can too. So thank you, thank you so much for being live with me today, Diana and Rebecca. If you are someone who watches this replay on the replay, put in hashtag replay and let me know that you're excited to join me for the podcast Visibility Live Lab and get all the benefits that it is that I've been talking to you about today. I can't wait to get started for the podcast Visibility Live Lab. If you have already registered, I have one more thing to say. If you have already registered, go ahead and register again tomorrow using the September 8th special registration link and you'll get all the bounty that I've talked about and have something to celebrate. I'm totally good with that. I'm a very generous person, just like Mary Tyler Moore, just like Oprah, these women that have inspired me so much. And then I guess I would also say that you never know who's in your listening audience. You could have three people live on a call. You could have 300 people live on the call. You could have 3,000 people live on the call. But there is someone that's going to hear you deliver your message in your inimitable, distinctive, memorable way, whose life is going to be touched and transformed because you stood up and spoke out. And that could be a game changer for them, but it could be a game changer for you too. Believe and behave as if the most important person in the world is going to be listening to your next podcast interview tomorrow and raise your game to rise up to be that brilliant guest who delivers amazing value and inspiration so that more lives can be transformed. It's simple advice, but when executed consistently and with heart, smarts, and moxie, you'll find that it will really pay off for you. And that is my wish for you. So that, my friends, is the Learn More, Earn More show for Mon Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. I will look forward to seeing you next week for the podcast Visibility Live Lab and to see what other magic we can co-create together. So with that, I say bye-bye for now and have an awesome, awesome day.